Good morning. Happy Sunday. This is Lisa from Happy Foods, and uh, I am wearing my glasses. I slept in my contacts last night. You guys ever done that? Holy moly. I think I've done that just a handful of times, but I actually, I usually wake up and notice it. And I actually slept through the whole night in my contacts and woke up and they're like glued to my eyes. So, uh, wearing the glass, sporting the glasses today. You like them? I like them. Anyways, um, I just wanted to make a video. I know I mentioned um, last week or so when I was doing the um, water fasting that it was something that <clears throat> Jen and I were going to be interested in doing weekly. Um, trying to kind of build up towards a slightly larger, shorter fast, if you want to call it that. Um, so I thought Sundays would be a really good time to do it. Um, it's after the weekend, usually when you've, you know, been hanging out and possibly eating things that are not on your typical diet necessarily, or just you're kind of been off schedule and whatnot. And I thought maybe after uh, Sunday dinner, that would be a great time to kind of um, do a nice little 24-hour fast until Monday dinner. So basically, um, tonight, somewhere probably between 6 and 7, um, after we eat, I'm going to stop um, eating any foods, just only water, until 6 or 7 on uh, Monday. And... When I did the last one, I found that um, it really wasn't that, that hard to do 24 hours. Things got a little hard around the 18, 19 hour mark just because that's the bomb. My body was telling me that I, I did want to eat. But, um, you know, I just kind of stayed busy enough and it really just, just, it was time to go to bed shortly after that. So, um yeah, I plan on uh, doing this each week, and um, I think later Jen and I are going to um, get in our bathing suits and do kind of a before picture and uh, do it each week so that we can just see if there's any kind of difference in um, appearance. Uh, not really doing this for weight loss, although I know just from fasting for 24 hours, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some kind of uh, fat loss just because your body is going to burn the carbs first and then it's going to go towards burning fat. Um, I don't see <clears throat> me really losing any muscle because it's not a long fast. It's just it's just a really a extended intermittent fast. Um, so I'm just kind of curious just for myself just to see um, just to see after maybe like four weeks what um what it's done to um my physical appearance if it did anything so anyways i'll be keeping track of that but thought i'd just kind of mention it uh, i know a couple of people seemed a bit interested some people were a little nervous um so yeah if you want to try it just go as long as you can um <clears throat> i would just say just stop eating and try to drink water and try to miss a meal if missing a me one meal is 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 longer than what you've ever done, then you, you did great. And then next week, try to go a little further and just kind of, you know, build yourself up. So that's kind of the intention here that, um, that I want to do. So come join me if you like. I'll vlog it and I'll let you know on Monday um, how it all went. Um, I also wanted to mention too um, that a couple... Last year, I came up with this idea that I wanted to implement here in Charleston, South Carolina. I thought it would be really cool as a um, uh, kind of like a little side job to be almost like a, I don't even know the title yet, a kind of like a food kind of concierge type person. Basically, uh, there's a only way I can kind of relate it is like a personal trainer helps you work out in the gym, give you workout routines, you know, helps you re meet your goals, makes you more comfortable in the gym, all that kind of stuff. Maybe help with nutrition or something. And <clears throat> what I wanted to do was kind of be that hands-on person, but for more of like shopping, like grocery shopping, to, to go with somebody to the grocery store and help them, you know, um, 
do their shopping, plan their meals, introduce them to new foods, uh, show them what you could do with those foods, different recipes, um, possibly go back to be able to do some prep and prep up some, some food in advance. And I just thought that would be a really neat hands-on service that um, I don't even know if anybody does that. I just, as a private chef for years um, and working with people, I realized that everybody loves to eat, but most people do not love to be in the kitchen, do not love to go grocery shopping, have a really hard time planning meals for their family and introducing new things for them to eat. And so I thought that would be something really cool to do. Um, I never really did it, but then I got to thinking this weekend that um, I had set up a Patreon account and um, I hadn't really set up any kind of rewards, I guess, for um, for helping to support the channel. And I thought, you know what, maybe I could um, start to implement that um, service and um, and see what people think. So basically, I would be able to do it on a phone call, unless you live here in Charleston. Um, I could obviously meet you in person, but I thought um, I'd offer a phone call, like 30 minutes once a week or once a month, um, and very, very affordable. I put on there starting at $10 for a phone conversation, and basically we just uh, talk about, I'd be there for you, to talk about, uh, you know, basically anything food, help you, if you need help with menu planning, I can help you plan your menu for the week. You know, um, if you have a hard time um, in in the stores and you need something creative or not familiar with certain ingredients, I can help you with that. I can answer food questions. I can give you tips on how you can save money. We can just talk about anything that's uh, food related and um, I'd basically be your little personal assistant. Um, and uh, if you need tips with, you know, health, if you're trying to, you know, eat healthier or trying to lose weight or whatever, I can be your, you know, your kind of person to hold you accountable and cheer you on and try to guide you in a direction where you're, um, you know, you're eating a little cleaner or give you tips. So basically I added that to the, um, to basically the rewards for, uh, help and support the channel and I can use that money to put back into this channel and uh, to make different recipe videos and all that kind of stuff. I just thought that would be like really cool. So anyways, I'm going to leave the link below uh, for the Patreon and um, yeah, I think it's a really neat service. They take like 5% but um, I just think it's a really cool way that, um, you know, you could support a channel and, you know, and in the same time I could support you as well with what you're doing. So please come on. I like to give this a try. Um, I've thought about this for a really long time actually and um, haven't really implemented it. So it's very, very affordable in my opinion. Um, a very easy going and, you know, obviously if we're talking and we have the time, I'm not going to be like, cut, we, you know, your time's up. But uh, yeah, come on, who wants to be the first person uh, that uh, I can help make your experience in the kitchen, in the store, better? I guarantee it. I guarantee it. So click the link, sign up for something on Patreon, and I will. Uh, we will exchange numbers. I will give you my number, and, uh, and we'll set up a time to talk. So I'm excited. I wanted to mention that. I've been thinking about it this weekend, and I think it would be a really cool cool little service that I can offer. Um, it be a win-win for both. So thanks so much for watching, as always. Remember to eat happy foods. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. going to enjoy the time off. My kids are just left for Sunday school, and my parents are taking them out uh, for the day. And actually keeping them through dinner because we're going to a, we were invited to a friend's house for dinner tonight. So that'll be nice. And then, you know, come back and take care of business tomorrow. And I'll let you know how it goes with the, uh, the second time doing a, uh, a little short fast. I'll let you, I want to vlog the experience, see if it gets easier and easier and all that kind of stuff. So I will catch you later, my friend. Enjoy the rest of your day.
Ciao.